I love the ocean. I kind of consider myself part ocean even. I feel like I grew up inhaling the salt air that came off the channel. So I grew up in rock pools and loved getting in under the rocks and seeing what creatures I could see in that day and be amazed that there were so many different colours and shapes and sizes. My mom knew I was going to be a marine biologist. She knew that way, way before I did. <laughs> I'm interested in the ocean, but what do we need to do as humans to better sustainably manage and protect the ocean for future generations. Her passion for sharing the delights and importance of the aquatic world with people through science has led her to numerous studies and research across the globe. Because I have been on the ocean and I have sailed across the Atlantic, into the Mediterranean, spending time in Canary Islands, that really gives me a really unique perspective that it is one ocean. It's not just different coastlines. And I think that's a really important message to be able to get into the work that I do. I'm really fortunate enough now to be Principal Scientist of the NGO Necton. As part of our research, we explore down to about a thousand meters. And we have to use really incredible technology to do that. And one of the tools we use is going down in submersibles. And as we go from the light, the photic zone, where there's lots of color, we descend into the cooler, darker waters, and we have really different types of life in different zones as we descend down into the deep sea. We're often the first humans that have ever seen that bit of our planet. That makes me feel really small. And that's a really powerful emotion within that space. But it always brings me back to think, what am I here to do? I'm here to document the ocean so that others can see it tomorrow, but also in future generations. Extreme E's scientific committee is made up of a panel of academics who are dedicated to environmental research and education programs for the championship. They also recommend positive legacy initiatives which support local communities in each race location. The Extreme E legacy programs are a really important part of the race series. And I'm particularly drawn to those that are community driven. They're the experts about what they need and being able to create these programs that allow communities to have the power to be able to lead themselves, I think is really powerful. And being able to come and experience that, to see what's going on and to see that it is sustainable and people are excited about this because they've created it. It has not been imposed from somewhere else. And the more we can talk to those communities. We can respect each other for the different types of knowing and the different ways that we experience the world. Then we are better able to come together and create these amazing solutions. <laughs>